um, sitting in all the for the last five years in these meetings and so forth. Uh, it seems to me I remember them saying that there were other uh, historical preservation and also open space groups that were just waiting in the wings for a, a, a willing pattern or landowner to help support this purchase of the open space of Great Lily. Uh, is that, if this referendum goes through, in addition to the county and the state um, grants, um, do you anticipate other groups coming in and helping with the purchase of this property? I know like the DAR, which I'm a member, they did a small grant, like $10,000 for both of the states and a uh, historical military preservation. Yeah, thank you. So um, certainly we partner with land trusts and other nonprofit organizations uh, throughout the region that we work in. Um, and yes, there are several other organizations that have donors who've expressed interest in helping. Um, and that's really that private fundraising that we're, we're just kind of waiting to see how do the grants shake out because if, if the gap's too large, we're not going to be able to fill it. If we don't pass this referendum, we're not going to be able to fill that gap. Credibility will not get protected if the, if the referendum doesn't pass. That's step one. If we can get the additional grant monies, that's step two. And then we'll know what our gap is and we'll be able to reach out to those partners and donors and foundations that we work with all of the time um, to, to, to wrangle the rest of the funding. Thank you. All right, I have been advised that we started four minutes late, so we're going to go to four minutes past nine. So, Ms. Foster, do you want to go ahead? If hopefully quick so that if there's anybody else that, we want, that wants to be heard. Hi there, Eva Foster. Um, question about the debt that this township now has. How much debt do we have? So at present we have, um, uh, I think about $13 million. So with this, it would, with another 7.5, it takes us to roughly 20. 20 million, okay. Uh, what part of the unfunded police pension is liability do we have? Uh, well, the police pension was fully funded, uh, the, the, the last valuation was fully funded. Now, obviously the stock market's gone down, so in 2023, yeah, yeah, probably about this time next year, we'll, we'll know what impact the market downturns had. So it's significant, possibly significant, that our debt load will be even higher next year because of the unfunded police debt. Possibly. Okay, what is the overall, what is the overall township debt? Uh, regarding the sewer the si and, the, and the size of uh, what individuals cannot pay the estimated cost. It used to be 250000 I believe it's in six figures now. Could you, be, could you clarify that? I'm not following the question, but I'm sorry. Okay, what I'm trying to get at is how much debt collectively are we already in before we acquire more debt? So you're asking like on a per capita basis, like if they take $13 million and divide it by 11,000 residents, is that? No, I total debt because we're going to acquire more debt. So I said right now we're at like 13, right? And then so we'll, we'll be about 20 when if if, if we if issue 7.5 million. And what is the income that comes in from taxes? Are we breaking the, even? Are the total general fund revenue all total is a little over nine million dollars per year. Okay, so we have more debt than we have income. Yeah, but but the uh, the public the well the the. the the state law that authorizes us to issue debt has certain um, has certain sort of road stops about when um, about when additional voter referendums would be needed for to issue additional debt, and we're not close to that. That's that's quite a way to raise money. Thank you. Yes, sir. Question. So, I only recently kind of got involved just <coughs> listening to this thing. Um, I, I was against. Toll Brothers, um, and I like open space. But the thing that, that, that kind of concerned me was, okay, if we vote yes here, we as the residents are on the hook, okay? Like, because you guys already said you're gonna tax anyway. If we say no, it seems to me that we leave more options for ourselves. And am I wrong in saying that? Because it seems like, you know, there's no guarantee that another developer is going to come out. There's no guarantee that um, things are going to work out for the worst. But they're definitely going to lock us in 
with natural land saying we can never do anything else with that if we if we vote yes here. Is that true? I'm not sure. The question is, if I vote yes, I'm going to be locked in. I'm going to be locked into taxes. I'm going to be locked into not developing that land or doing anything else with that land. If you if vote, vote yes, no, if you vote yes, options. there's more options. Hang on, if you vote yes, yeah. if the township votes yes, you authorize the township to establish an open space fund via those taxes. That's all it does. Right, but that's money out of my pocket. That's right. So, I, from my perspective, I presume so, sir. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. No, that's it. I. I but if I vote no, no I, I, I'm, I'm, there's, a, there's another, there, there's <coughs> another battle in the front. Of me. You know, I, I have the option of fighting another battle. Whereas it's over if I vote yes. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, well, there's no more change. There. I, I can't tell you because I don't know even if the voter referendum passes whether the purchase will uh, continue via the agreement of sale. It is a necessary step in the agreement of sale. Okay. You were. Okay. Yeah, I, all I was going to say is if, if the voters of West Town Township do not pass the referendum, then that will be a failure of the condition preceding on page three. And the agreement can be terminated. Thanks, sir. And just uh, you raised an interesting point as to whether uh, is there any guarantee that there will be either no developer, new developers coming in, or guaranteed developers coming in. Uh, I would leave that question directly, and I won't answer. Won't ask him here. Uh, Mr. Robinson and his family are here, and uh, my sense would be is that that if if asked directly the question as to whether other developers were interested in the property, I think the short answer is yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the appointed time. Unless there's anything further from the board, I want to thank everyone for your attendance, for your thoughtful questions, for your respect for each other. Uh, the election and the referendum is on for November 8th. So please go out and vote if you're so inclined. I think we can all agree, go Phil's. Enjoy your evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.